Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Jeff Jones. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. I've noticed that there's a lot of apprehension and frankly anxiety when it comes to artificial intelligence in education and plagiarism. Today I'm going to talk to you about 10 steps that I think can help you prevent plagiarism in the age of AI. First, a little bit about me. I'm an instructional designer, I'm a writing instructor, and a PhD candidate. I have a master's degree in education, and I've been teaching for over 15 years. Currently, I'm doing research on how ChatGPT can be a design tool in education. So with these recommendations, I hope you can take something from this, whether you're an instructor, or you're a parent, or you're just interested in how the education system works in this new era of artificial intelligence. Number one, use Google Docs. To use Google Docs or another similar word processing program, Google Docs allows users to share their documents and work collaboratively. An instructor or even a parent can track the progress and offer feedback in real time in the comments function. Number two, require the use of a library digital catalog. This allows instructors to require a URL link um, of the school library. And most of those links are behind a login wall that ChatGPT and other artificial intelligence tools just don't have access to. Number three, require in-class work sessions. So by requiring these in-class work sessions, you can track student progress in real time. And also you can consider using timed assessments or in-class writing assignments where students have limited time to complete their work, reducing the opportunity for external assistance using ChatGPT or another AI tool. It also gives you the opportunity to see your students work in real time Another thing instructors can do is have clear assessment guidelines that clearly outline the expectations um, of the work. Emphasize critical thinking and analysis rather than regurgitation of information. Um, we don't want copy and paste. We want them to synthesize their own new work. Number five, using unique prompts. If you create unique prompts, essay prompts that are tailored to the course material, then it's more difficult for artificial intelligence to construct a cheat or to construct plagiarism. So making it, it does make it more difficult for students to find pre-written responses to unique prompts. Um, number six, monitor students' progress. Uh, this is one that can be really challenging if you have a lot of students but keeping track of their progress and how they started um, in week one and how they've progressed through week probably 15 or 16 can take a little bit of extra energy, but I think it's very important to know your student as, as best you can and to plot their progress uh, the best you can. Number seven, educate students on the importance of academic integrity. You know, start by educating students about why academic integrity is important and the consequences of cheating, frankly. In a lot of cases, you could fail the assignment, you could fail the class, you could be expelled. Teach them about these ethical implications, what it means to be ethical, and try to make it an exciting idea that this is a synthesis that they are making. They are making something new that only they can make. Recently, the president of Yale resigned due to plagiarism. This can come back to haunt you 15, 20, 30 years later. So make sure that you're doing the right thing and, and, and explain to your students how important it is to not cheat, to not use AI or any other tool or having someone submit work for them because it can come back to haunt them. Number eight, stay updated on the technologies and adapt your prevention strategies accordingly so as new technology comes out they're talking about chat gpt 4.5 or 5.0 we may see new technologies in the short term that are very tempting for students to use as these technologies continue to unfold stay updated number nine 
explain clearly what the consequences for cheating now every institution has their own unique set of standards for cheating but clearly communicate what this means and how it can affect their real life number 10. this is for parents uh, as well and that's using google docs as i mentioned earlier you can be added onto a google doc as a viewer and you would be able to see what work is being done in real time you can check in on your on your student on your son or daughter um, and make sure that they are on track you, taking a more proactive role in your son or daughter's education can be the difference maker and oftentimes in my experience it is the difference maker you can also track the progress and the feedback in real time and google google docs also allows um you to see writing history so you'd be able to check and see what your student did at what time to make sure that they're not copy and pasting large blocks of of written text at once so i hope you find this helpful i hope that these are some strategies that you might be able to use to prevent plagiarism in the age of artificial intelligence for more videos like this like and subscribe we'll see you on the next one